Welcome back to Kentucky Budget Prepper. My name's Steve. Uh, doing a, a little uh, Walmart haul today to try and replenish. It's not a real big one. This is rent week, so obviously, as I said, I'm a budget on a budget. So, um, so I went out and got some things. Um, didn't know Walmart had uh, the food grade buckets. I did go talk to their bakery. I can buy them from them too for a dollar, which is a, a bucket and a lid, but they're out. They said some another gentleman comes in and buys them out every week, so I'm gonna keep a track of that and see if I can find some. But these buckets were two forty nine a a piece plus a dollar. I think it was dollar eighty for the lids. The lids do not have the rubber seal gasket in it, so obviously whatever I put in here is not going to be just in the bucket. It's going to be with the mylar bags and obviously the uh, oxygen absorbers. But uh, I picked up. 20 more pounds of rice. I have, uh, I think I have 20 pounds in there that still needs to go into a bucket with this 20 pounds. So that's what the buckets are for. I picked up another, um, what is this? A 10 pound bag of flour. I have a 10 pound bag in the freezer already. Yes, uh, for everybody that did make comments, I appreciate it. I do freeze the flour first before I store it long term uh, to get rid of any uh, any little visitors that might be in there. So. Uh, that helps eliminate the, the uh, not completely, but it helps eliminate some of the critters that might be in the flour before we get it. And then put into a mylar bag with an oxygen absorber will even uh, make it even better so the flour is safer for us. And they can, with the mylar bags, it can last 10 years with these. Uh, I picked up another 10 pound bag of sugar. I've already got 20 pounds in mylar bags in my pantry. So that's another 10 pounds that'll put us up to 30 pounds right now. Picked up some more canned goods. Some more, uh, I only picked up one can of the Keystone beef. It's $8 a, pound, uh, a can right now. And a can of the Keystone chicken. Again, it's eight pounds, $8 a, a can. Uh, picked up another jar just to replenish because this week we had some pasta. So I used one, so I'm putting it to replenish it. That's going to the back of my uh, pasta, the uh, sauce row to and the older ones will move forward so i use them first this will go in the back so i'll use it last rotate your food so that way you're using up all the other stuff but you keep a nice supply so if something happens you still have it in there i'm um, starting to get some honey i didn't have any honey before so i'm going to start getting some i just grabbed a little one today like i said this is uh, the off week so it's not the big shopping next week i'll do some more shopping picked up some more loaded potato with uh, bacon soup that looks really good i want to try that pick up some more vegetables uh some more hungry jack um, instant mashed potatoes the flakes i'm gonna put those away and store them long term too uh, i bought some uh two weeks ago we tried it just to see if we'd like it if it would be okay for us if this is the brand we like and this is the one so far it works out okay it works good for us and again i picked up another of these 48 hour four person emergency food rationing just in case we do have to bug out get out we can grab those as, as however many I can put in my truck and we can leave. I um, hope I never have to use those. Hopefully I can stay home and use what I've got because I do have a nice supply. Uh, besides this stuff here, I did pick up a couple more cases of water. Um, the Great Value or whatever their the Walmart brand was, they have a 40 pack of the 20 ounce bottles for like three something. So I picked up a couple cases of those. Uh, we have also, I picked up some more ground meat. I think we're up to probably 25 pounds of ground meat in our freezer. Every time I go, I pick up uh, one to four pounds of the pre-packaged uh, one pound ground meats and just throw them in there. They're, they're the 80 whatever percent fat, weight, whatever, or 80 percent. You know, the, there's different grades. There's the 80, the 90, the 93. I do the 80 because, well, it's cheaper. I can afford it. Uh, I can afford to get more of it. Uh, I also picked up some, you know, some more things for the freezer, the refrigerator, some other things that we need for the house for the week that the kids, because, you know, my boys, they go through a lot of stuff like Lunchables. They love Lunchables. That's a great idea for the kids in the short term. If something happens and you need to give them food real quick, they can't leave the house, you need them a snack, get some Lunchables. It's, it's nice, quick little, here you go, here's a snack, something to get in your belly. Um, obviously, you need a refrigerator for that because it does have meat and cheese in it and you don't want them to go bad. But... As long as you still have power or you can get power, whether it be a generator or whatever it may be, you could have your refrigerator and have all those Lunchables and anything else in there to keep going. 
Uh, speaking of generators, I am uh, hoping in the next few weeks I pick one up. I'm going to pick, uh, I, I saw a nice deal for a 12, uh, 12K uh, portable generator. Me being an electrician, I can put a, which this is something that you should look into, is get an electrician out to look at your panel, see if it's uh, capable of taking a, what's called an inlet, generator inlet receptacle. So you can plug your portable generator uh, into that receptacle inlet and it back feeds your panel to feed your house if you uh, lost power. But you gotta remember, you gotta turn your main off and there's a whole lot of technical stuff. Make sure you follow up with an electrician for that. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm gonna look into that and putting one in here shortly, hopefully in the next few weeks so we have it for the house if something happens. Um, there's gonna be some more videos coming up. I hope they're not too controversial for some of you. Uh, I am a former law enforcement officer. My wife is in cor correct uh, right now. Currently, she works for the state of Kentucky in a law enforcement capacity. If I will, I'll say that. So we, as a family, we believe in protecting ourselves with the uh, firearms. So I may have a few videos for firearms and for maybe some body armor ideas and stuff like that. That's on a budget to help you out if you if you feel that you need that stuff. And you feel that it's for, and again, when I talk about it, it's all strictly for defense of the house, the family. This is not no offensive, nothing like that. This is strictly anything I bring up that's in my future videos that might have anything about firearms or about body armor or anything like that. That is strictly for protection of your house and family. This is not to go out and try and be John Rambo and try and tear up the town. I do not condone that. I do not say we do that. I think we should keep to our own and take care of our family and our neighborhoods first. And if it comes to us, then we'll deal with it. Until then, it's not our business. Some may not agree with that, but I just feel for right now, it's not the time for us to start doing anything crazy and stupid. Let's keep it civil. Let's keep to ourselves. Pre prepare for ourselves and our family and maybe our, our mags, our mutual aid groups that we could help people out with. Uh, you know, if our neighbors need food or this, that, and the other, if we have a little extra, maybe in a time of need, if a bad storm or a bad whatever may happen, we have a little extra that we can give to our neighbors and be a better neighbor and a better person, and a better human. That's what we should be striving for. But again, if I have these videos in the future, I hope you guys, uh, you know, understand uh, I'm not trying to offend anybody. It's just uh, my belief for my family on what, how I want to protect my family and how I want to protect um, my house and my, my, my preps and just my way of life. So again, it'll be ideas. It's not going to be the top of the line material and equipment. It's going to be budget. I'm on a budget, just like a lot of you out there. So I hope you understand that. But anyways, back to the, the, uh, prepper hall, uh, it's the 29th. What is it? No, this is the 30th, isn't it? It's January 30th, 2021. This is my little bit of a prepper haul. It's not much, but it's something to keep going. Again, like I've always said to you guys, every time you go shopping, if you're going to replenish what you use for the week and trying to get what you need for that next week, if you could pick up a, a thing of honey, an extra can of canned meat, an extra thing of sugar, put it away. Do it. Just a little extra. If you don't want to do individuals like this, maybe look into the... Um, pre-made packages of food like these survival foods like i have here this is like i said it's just right now it's the walmart brand that i got this is the augustin augustin farms i see a lot of it online and i've seen some good reviews about it that's why i decided to go with it there's also the four patriot which i'm not sponsored by any of them i'm not don't have no links or anything like that so if you want to look it up, I can put some links down below for what this is. I think I did before on a previous video, but I will again for this uh, name brand and what I have. Uh, there's other ones, like I said, the Four Patriot. Uh, there's, uh, what is that, Mountain Mountain Pine or Mountain View or something like that. Uh, there's a bunch of different name brands out there of survival foods that you can get. I'll get a better list and actually give it to you guys and put links in the bottom in the, in the description. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, if you uh, have any suggestions, please give me a like. You know, give that thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, hopefully this uh, little channel grows and I can give you guys a little more information and we can learn together as I grow and as I learn. Um, maybe it'll be better in the future. Um, hopefully, like I said, we can learn from each other. You guys can, I've, I've heard a few people give me comments already. Hopefully I can get some more comments um, and there'll be future videos coming. 
So uh, once again, this is a little short video. It's not that long, but it'll work out. Like I said, this is what I did today, January 30th, 2021. This is Steve with uh, Kentucky Budget Prepper. I'll see you next time. Keep safe, keep the faith, keep vigilant. See you.